Our coach, Lauren Fix, joins us now via Skype with tips on maintaining your front window. Lauren, this is the time of the year where the bugs yes. start coming out. They splatter on your windshield. <laughs> but if you can't see, you're in trouble. Right. Like, so part of your decision of making, especially at night, is headlights. So if you think, well, geez, you know, they're not as bright as they used to be, get them replaced. If you don't know what you're doing, find a technician to do it yeah. for you. But what's in Interesting. You may just replaced your wiper blades. Maybe you had a service done and they put new wiper blades in, and you think, wow, I, I, they're not doing their job. Here's a free thing everyone can do get some rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel, and rub it along the blade where it mm. contacts the glass. Takes off all that road grime because we're, we're still cleaning up. You know, rain's going to have to wash off some of that stuff from the winter, but a lot of it gets picked up during the winter. Yeah. From, and that's what that's why you're getting that streaking and that chattering. And also make sure to get the right blades because a lot of times people go, I got the cheapest ones I could. And if you've got a straight up windshield like on a Mini Cooper or on a minivan, those straight up windshields, you have to have the right beam blades. Those are the ones that don't look like they've got all those contact points. There's one contact point. Oh, those will actually allow you to see so you're not buying the cheap blades. Buy the right ones, would you please? Yeah. How often should we replace them and how long should they last? They're good. Every six months, you should replace them. The reason is the sun abuses them. You've got, of course, the winter, and if you're running through a car wash, all that just takes that little rubber, little teeny chunks out of it. And glass has imperfections as well, and so you want to get as best contact as possible. Lauren, it's pollen season. We also have a huge area of dust, which is forecast in the yeah. southwest today. Does that erode the blade faster? Because, I mean, some people use this yeah. to wipe the, the pollen and the dust off your windshield. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. And, and one of the things I recommend is getting, you know, we use de-icer washer fluid during the winter, but you can get a debugging, believe it or not, washer oh, wow. fluid. It's a little more expensive. Mm. And you can pour that into your washer reservoir. And what will happen is that will help clean it off. I recommend always, as a part of an emergency kit, a roll of paper towel and some glass cleaner. And yeah. if it's really that right. bad, don't wipe all that pollen and that dust onto your paint because it's going to end up destroying it. So what I recommend is, no, if you got to stop somewhere and get gas, like they used to do, I'm dating myself, clean your windshield. Yeah, I, I just did that actually the other day. I love this. I get very much satisfaction after you do the wet and then you do that the other part across it. And Anyway, um, let's talk about the windshield. you got a few of the parking The windshield right wipers uh, that you could do. Yeah, right. um, are there different windshield wipers for different seasons? Are they easy to change out as well if, that, if they do? Well, the year-round blade would be what's called a beam blade, B-E-A-M, and that's the one that's got this, you see those on like more of the higher-end cars, but you're starting to see them on all normal cars as well. Uh, there is a summer and a winter blade for the standard type of blade that we all know forever, and there you do need to switch them out. So don't leave your winter blades on, because as the sun comes out and it's warmer, it'll actually destroy that little coat that's on top of it. Is the, it easy to switch the, them, uh, though? Can't you just like pop them in and out? Oh. I always say, if I can do it with nails and I've got acrylics, you can do it blindfolded. All right, it's Lauren, so I got to ask this one question. There is yes. a partnership between your wipers and your airbags. Explain that. Yes. All right, I've done a lot of work with the glass industry, and boy, have things changed. It used to be, you know, safety glass, that was just the normal thing. You had a crack, I don't worry about it. Well, now the airbag actually bounces off the windshield. The windshields are much thicker glass. They have actually protection inside of them. So they work as a team as part of your safety features. Mm -hmm. So if, God forbid, you have an accident, that airbag will actually be part of the windshield to protect you because the car will always give itself up to protect the passengers. All right, Lauren uh, Fix, always love having you. If you have more questions, hit her up on Twitter.